Hey guys, Scott here with Everyday Home Repairs and moving to the outdoors. It is, it is warming up quite a bit here and I've kind of been putting off a really simple repair for, for the last couple of years. I'm um, sure that's never happened to any of you, but I'm not sure why this one's taking me uh, so long, but I'll show you uh, how to fix it. It's a quick and easy one. What's going on is this outdoor faucet or spigot. Uh, the top anti-siphon valve or vacuum brake valve, when you turn it on, we get leaking out of the top of that valve. Uh, so what's happening is there is a small kind of plunger that goes up and down there. When you turn it on, it should seat, no water should come out. Uh, but then when you turn it off, it does let air go back through and creates a, a flow path so you don't get kind of a siphon effect, which would pull water back in uh, to the clean water supply. So a few things. Uh, this can be just some debris or something in that small little plunger, preventing it from seating correctly uh, in, in the small casing. Uh, or uh, there could be some other uh, just malfunction. It's a pretty cheap part, so this thing does can go kind of in and out. So I'll show you how to kind of pop off that cap, pull it out, and then um, we'll show you a repair kit or also just how to look at the part that you currently have to see maybe if you can just do the fix uh, by removing some debris. Okay, so here we are at the outdoor spigot. Again, I'll show you the where the leak's coming from. So you can see out of the cap here, the leak's coming around. Uh, so we're getting quite a bit of water flowing out, which we don't want. It's going right on the foundation. Um, and it's not helping this concrete slab, loosening up the underfooting. So what we do is pop this off just with the flathead. This one's really loose, so this one's really easy to pop off. You might have to work your side to side, but this one's gonna be real easy to, to take off there. That one's so easy to take off because there is some kind of plastic missing here on that piece. So now I'll just take some channel locks. Again, we might want to reuse this part. So take your time and try not to uh, smash that plastic part. Because if you do, you could, you could damage uh, one of these components that you could reuse after removing some debris. Okay, so, so really simple, right? There's that plunger that we talked about in kind of the outer casing. Um, what you can do is turn on and flush out. So flush out any debris, kind of let that water come out of the top. And then that will make sure there's no debris uh, within the threads here, within the spigot. And then what I'm gonna do is just kind of pop out that little plunger. Okay, so that is the little seal. If you look at it, mine's kind of discolored. Looks to be a little oblong. And and really because it has that cone shape here, it's only it's only gonna seal on that little edge there to the plastic top there. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just swap out the kit. So what I got here is just a replacement kit. Again, anti-siphon valve, they call it the vacuum breaker valve. Uh, so it comes with the casing, that plunger there, and then the cap. So go ahead and open this guy up. Now you can get these at most big box stores, uh, Home Depot's, Lowe's, we got from Menards. Um, if not, I also will put a link in the description uh, you can get you can get them online as well from Menards. So all we're going to do is place uh, that little plunger within the casing. Okay, so if it falls out like that, make sure it, it does seat well as you screw this in. So I'm going to probably pop that back out and make sure it. And then just, of course, hand tighten it. Um, 
should be pretty easy to tie. Do not, do not over tighten this. Again, it's just plastic, so you can easily break uh, the casing. So really just get it snug in there, uh, just another quarter turn or so. Um, and even before the cap, you should be able to turn this on and you should see that plunger go up. Let's get a little closer look there. All right, see the plunger is, is down. I turn the water on and that plunger goes up, okay? Yep, so you can see that will block the water and then it goes back down and that's what allows that airflow path uh, to open back up to make sure there's no siphon uh, on the spigot pulling back uh, through a hose or depending on if there's a vacuum pulled through your uh, through your water line and then just replace the cap here and believe it or not it is that that easy that's it now we got a little water leak still kind of coming out of the hose here um, that we might address but at least now the the anti-siphon or vacuum brake valve uh, is good to go. All right, now we got the anti-siphon valve swapped out. Uh, that leak is fixed. I am gonna check out that handle a little bit. I saw some additional water coming out of that. So if I find anything there, I'll also share that one with you guys. Um, few tips. Before you buy the replacement kit, go ahead and go out to your spigot and pop that cap off and, and take uh, take the valve out to see it could be just some debris that's not allowing that plunger to go up and down like I showed you That could be a really easy kit uh, a really easy fix and that kit I think is like eight to ten dollars So that might save you a little money uh, So check it out first and also you'll check it out to see if that's the same construction Valve that you have there are a few others on the market. I think my cap said Mansfield uh, So I believe that's the the brand of this one so just check it out before you do it. Save yourself some time and then possibly some money. So that's it. Again, my name's Scott from Everyday Home Repairs. If you like these type of videos, don't forget to subscribe. And then also look in the description uh, if you want to know exactly what kit I, I got. I'll put a link there. Uh, so thanks for joining.